Hey there! My name is Kalina Kip, and in this video I'm gonna show you how I made the witch cauldron. Let's begin with a sketch. Just spread out your ideas. I chose the first design of the cauldron. Ok, it's time to go from the drawing to reality. For this project I used white jovi clay. I rolled the sausage out of clay. A little hint. Try to make as many sausages or worms, call it as you wish, so you won't be distracted from the cauldron sculpting. Then I took the sausage and rolled it up, like so. This is the bottom of the cauldron. I smoothed the inner part of the bottom using a wet brush. I added more clay to form the upper part of the cauldron. Try to smooth inner part of the cauldron because it's harder to reach the surface during sanding. Let it dry for a while. After drying, it's time to smooth the external surface. I didn't want those stripes, so I filled the space between them with clay. I tried to make the surface super smooth. I filled the cracks on the bottom with clay. For these little handles I used two pieces of wire. I bend it into circles and put it in place using clay.
A little bit of sanding, but it's still not enough. So I added more clay to make it even smoother. It's sanding time again. I used the wet fabric to clean the cauldron from dust. I painted everything using black acrylic paint. Then I mix burnt sienna and green acrylic paint for the next shade. Then I took bronze acrylic paint to add some metal-like texture. I used emerald paste to give it time-worn look. I rub the paste with a brush to blend it. I drew a nice fern leaf. Okay, let's seal my paint job. I used matte acrylic varnish. I added some sparkles and sealed it too. For the handles I used gloss acrylic varnish. I wanted to brew some potion, so I traced the diameter of the cauldron. Then I took a piece of clear plastic from packaging and put it on the drawing. I used gel nail polish that cures under UV light. You can also use UV resin.
I added some fancy details. Finally, it's all cured. I trimmed the edges so the potion could fit in the cauldron. The clear plastic can be separated so you can use the pattern again to make more potions. Well, well, let's make some potions. Take an eyeball and throw it right in the cauldron. I said, in the cauldron! Here we go! Mix it and add some withered leaves. The enchanted rock? Ah, uh, not again! The green leaf, just staying here, okay? Some bottles? And your head. And it's done.